the things you see at the flying field. Some of the experts are already here. These are ibises, very common around here. <laughs> Woohoo! It's one big fella. Okay, we're ready to go. I have a current sensor on it. Let's see if it's going to take off in this grass. There is some wind. Grass is a bit too. This grass is a bit too tough for it. All right, it's going to have to be a hand launch. This will be fun. It's too. Point three kilograms. <laughs> Here we go. Well, it's flying all right. Needs rudder to turn it. There we go. Let's say 3.3 .3 amps. Now that's flying. That's flying on two amps at the moment. Gonna have to trim it. So that's flying flying on five amps. 5.4 amps. Now we're right. <laughs> That's crazy. It's flying on six amps, something this big. It'll fly forever on 6,000 milliamp hours. <laughs> awesome! It's got a lovely deep note. Nice and languid. Smooth. You could put any camera anywhere on this plane, <laughs> it'd be fine. <laughs> Flying at half throttle. 5.5 amps. amps. That's crazy. Amps. Fair bit of adverse yaw. It does need rudder mixing in with it, I think. How cool is this? <laughs> Be even more efficient without those big wheels on too. Crank it up a bit, gain a bit of height. I've just been cruising around so far. Climb's quite okay. Back it off when you're at the height you want. Seven amps. Might be a bit nose heavy, I reckon. So that's sort of probably minimum speed on about four or five amps. Six or seven amps and you're flying around nicely. It's so smooth and it's like flies like flying through honey. It's beautiful. It's a rudder turn, it's really nice. Let's see what the flaps do. I'll slam the flaps down on there. 0 0.1 amps. <laughs> amps. Okay. Flaps are on there. Oh, beautiful. Does want to nose over a bit. Really doesn't like take off on this grass. It's 
like a big sort of pit. Alright, my thoughts so far. It's very impressive, big beast. Flies sort of slow and smooth. Uh, the flaps, I do need to put a little bit more elevator compensation in there. I do have some rudder mixed in with the ailerons. I'm going to mix even a little bit more just to make it easier to fly. Efficient, awesome weight carrying beast. This sort of tough grass with divots is too uh, tough for it to take off on. If it was mown grass, it'd be fine. Just noticed it's bent the landing gear. I think I might take this landing gear off. Uh, it's not really suitable for this situation. Can put that cover back on. No, I'll just leave it off. I don't need that. Alright, let's see how it feels without the landing gear on. That's penetrating a lot easier now because of the less drag. Flying nicer. Turning nicer too, actually. Downwind, six amps. Six point three amps, gaining height into the wind. It's 8 amps now. 15.2 volts. Still no battery left. 7 amps. Could do with a bit more rudder mixing. 0 amps. Flaps. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. Much better without the wheels, it even lands better too. Now I wonder if I can take off <laughs> with this wheel. That will be interesting. Half flaps. Oh yeah, that's the way to take off. Saves the arm, flaps off. really is very efficient all these ranges are efficient long flight time planes all right loop yeah no worries Roll very slowly. <laughs> that was all full aileron roll. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> I better put a camera on. And I can put the camera on anywhere this plane, I'm sure. Motor off. Coming in for the landing. Flaps half down. Flaps off, flaps full on, Zero. pinpoint landing, very nice.
This is a ridiculously efficient plane for the, what is it, 2.3 kilograms with the batteries in the nose. I think the airframe weighs 1.7 kilos. Floats around on 3 amps or so. Uh, powered flying maybe, uh, for gaining height you probably need 7 or 8 amps, but uh, going to have super long flight times. Really, really stable platform for photography, uh, long range FPV. What an awesome plane this is. This is stunning. I love it. This is the Volantex Ranger 2400. A monster, but a beautiful monster.